Is the U.S. dollar fading as the world's dominant currency? A big question on the minds of many around the globe. This currency has been the dominant currency since the end of World War II. It became that main global reserve currency by passing up the British pound sterling. And it took a world war, a big shift out here on the world stage to make this happen or to bring this about. Now, all in all, in the end, they're printing these currencies with no backing at will. And really, they can stop the machine anytime they want. Or they can continue to let this debt bubble grow and grow and grow, which is what is happening. And what they in turn try to do is to go to other, com other countries and to strike up deals and say, look, if you buy some of our debt, we'll strike up a better deal with you over here. Also, the strength of each currency plays big out here. If some are weak or if some are strong, and also on how they're trading. Now, if you get out here like in, say, crypto, and you realize that a lot of the crypto trades against Bitcoin, you're going to see the Bitcoin as the dominant crypto traded on all the markets. It just is. This is similar to how the U.S. dollar is across all the markets, with the euro coming up behind the dollar as the secondary one. That most like, say, a Litecoin or something like that. And that's not to say that that's standard. Um, that could shift and that could be any coin coming in there at second. But it's just to give an example that the U.S. dollar and euro are the top two dogs in the rest of the, the currencies aren't as powerful in terms of the markets and the trading. Now, you also have the yen that comes in third. Then you have the Chinese currency, which has entered the IMF, but it's not set up yet in all of these different trading tiers and all these different brackets. Of course, they're using it in backing contracts with gold, like with Russia, between China and Russia. But in terms of some of the main markets out here, they're slowly trying to creep in to different areas. Now, if you look at the past few years, you look at the numbers here, the U.S. dollar share of allocated foreign reserves, they have fallen from 66% to 62%. So all in all, one could argue, yes, you know, in such a short period of time, that percentage is something to pay attention to. And others would say, well, it's just the back and forth, the ebb and the flow of this whole thing, how it's naturally going in the markets. And, and really, end of the day, they're propping this whole thing up. Okay, that's all that really needs to be known. They're controlling all of this. There seems not to be any righteous people out there. And it says in FX markets, this is where the U.S. dollar reigns big. And it says that the U.S. dollar retained its dominant currency status being on one side of 88% of all trades. And then you have the euro coming in at 32%. And then the Japanese currency behind that. And then all the rest of the global currencies, a lot smaller percentages. So that's taking a look at how it's being traded and how it's being used around the globe all in all, and some of the numbers in terms of reserve statuses. More information here at this link that I'll leave below. Follow me on Twitter for more, and join us on DLive for exclusive live streams you're only going to find over there. Links below.